Welcome to the third video in our flip classroom and tonight's video is going to be how to use NiceNet which is our classroom our online classroom. I'm going to take you through this by doing some screenshots of my own screen and then hopefully this is going to be something you can go back to and refer to until you're comfortable with the program. The first screen you'll see when you click on NiceNet.org please pick, make sure that it's org is a username I will have given you a username and you also are going to type in your password and I will have given you that as well. When you do that the screen opens up into your home page. In the upper left hand corner is how your name is going to appear on everything you post. You can see that everything I post for you is going to be in my name so there will be no surprises. This is the class that you're in 2012-2013. I need to change the date language arts and I'll fix that before we get into it and the first thing that opens for you is your home page I want you to look at some things that are on your home page here's the date today's date this is the date I'm making the video and this is the time actually this time is about three hours off because it's Pacific Standard Time so it's really 435 now but it's 135 where the mainframe is kept. And everything you post will have a date and a timestamp on it. So there won't ever be any confusion as to when you responded or when you did something. The first thing that it shows you on your home page is what has happened since you were on NiceNet the last time. Now I was on earlier today. Here's what's happened since I was on earlier today. Nobody has sent me any messages that I haven't read. Nothing's been posted in any of the blogs that are open since I logged on the last time. There's been nothing posted in my Porta Portal assignment. No homework assignments have turned in, have been posted, and no new documents have been posted. If you scroll down to the bottom of your home page, this is like a table of contents. Um, in the NiceNet website, there are lots of folders. This gives you a list of the name of every folder that's contained on NiceNet and what exactly is in that folder. So there's a folder for quick writes. There's a folder that gives you links to pieces of short fiction. So if you lose your hard copy, you can find another hard copy online. Same thing with the nonfiction tests. All of the handout, everything I've given you can be found there. There's a parent information folder. This is a place where if your parents are confused about something, they can go and they can find out what the handouts were given on procedures, grading policies. There is a folder that contains all of the literature circle paperwork. There's a folder that contains everything we've done for To Kill a Mockingbird, which there's nothing in there yet because we haven't done anything. Lord of the Flies, same thing. There's a folder that contains all the vocabulary lists. So if you lose the hard copy I give you, you can print another one there. There's a folder that contains all of the resources for the six traits of good writing. Again, if you've lost a hard copy, you can find it here. This is all of the editing we do, and you can find it here. Test taking strategies for SOL. That'll be later in the year. All the revision strategies we've talked about in focus lessons, the notes are here. Any kind of writing resources, um, anything other than traits of good writing that we've done in focus lessons can be found here. This is all the forms and handouts that you've received in focus lessons. And finally, this is a table of contents. This is another link to all of the videos that have been assigned for homework as part of our flipped classroom. Underneath that, when I actually have homework assigned, you'll find tonight's homework. So this is the first place you'll find homework. If we scroll back up, on the left-hand side of every page in NiceNet, you will find a series of links. This link takes you to all our blogs that are open. This is the Porta Portal for my classroom. This is where you will find all of the folders that we just looked at at the bottom half of this page. So if you're looking for um, a form on one of the six traits that I gave you during a, a focus lesson, you can click on documents. NiceNet will cycle through depending on how fast your modem is. And here's the pull down menu of all of the folders. If you're looking for six trade information, you go there, you click on view the documents, and here's everything that has been posted for six traits so far. 
class schedule takes you to a whole page of the table of contents of the document link as well as, and you can see I already have homework posted for the first and the second day of school. Here's the part place two that you can find your homework in the class schedule. Something else that you can that you'll see on the every left hand page is a personal message. This is um, email. This is exactly what this is: is email. When you click on view, you go to your mailbox. I have no new messages since I haven't opened this to your class yet, so I can view all the messages people have sent me. I can view anything I've saved, or I can send a message. And again that there's, there will be more in this when I open the class to you. Um, this is vaguely a brief overview of how I want you to use NiceNet. In the document section, you will find a link that's called, I don't see it, I guess I haven't set it up yet. All right, let's look at your parent information folder. This is for you to show your parents. There's the absent lake work policies that you've glued into your hand, into your notebook. There's my class library policies that you've glued into my notebook. There is your assignment for article of the week that you're going to get at some point. There are all of the yearly goals that you will have glued in your notebook the SOLs and our, our workshop goals. There are the ISN guidelines that you will have watched and taken notes on as well as glued into your notebook. This explains it to your parents. I expect you to know what's in this section so you can be helpful to them. If you go to link sharing, link sharing is just another word for post port -a portal It's exactly what you're used to. If you look at this, this is an online textbook for you. Um, chapter 1 talks about writing process, and these are sites that I found online that are supplementary to what we've talked about in our focus lessons. Chapter 2 is more ideas for things to go in your writer's notebook. This is supplementary to the things you're going to be getting in our focus lessons. Chapter 3, links online to give you tips on how to take what's in your notebook, decide how you're going to use that to make a draft. Again, supplementary to what's in your focus lesson. Same with revision strategies. Publishing, these are all places that accept student writing. I've checked out all of these. These are all completely appropriate for eighth grade students. And so these are places that when you're finished, they were either suggested by other students or they're, they're, they're places that I've offered for you. They're places for that you can post your work to the bigger world. There's tips on keeping your interact ISN, your interactive student notebook. Um, and then there's some very specific chapters. This one focuses on what do writers say about how they write. This one talks about the genre study in fiction. This one talks about memoir. These are links to help you when we do a lit circle on Lord of the Flies. These talk about poetry. These are online. These are six trait suggestions. These are places to get help for vocab. I don't expect you to take a vocab to take an, a dictionary home with you. There's no need to anymore. There is an online dictionary here. There's also an etymology link here. So there's no reason for you not to do your vocab homework. Um, here's a place to help you with annotations, help you annotate study strategies, how to help your um, comprehension strategies, what you should be thinking about when you read narrative. What you should be thinking about when you read a poem, there's a dictionary of symbolism, just things to help you bump up your reading comprehension. Um, here is some narrative nonfiction. Just if you're kind of out of ideas, what do you want to think about? This is just wide open. Um, things that can help guide your reading, can help guide your writer's notebook entries. Same thing, these, but these are images, photographs, diagrams, um, found poetry, there's just lots and lots. Read the little uh, subject blurbs underneath it, pictures of in museums, essays from Newsweek, lots and lots of just narrative nonfiction. 
Finally, these are letters, multimedia text, same thing, just to give you idea of possibilities. If you can't imagine it, you can't do it, and these are ways to help you imagine it. There's a section on grammar help. There's a section on specific people. There's suggestions on writing a book review, not a book talk. And here are some ideas for book talks. So basically, your uh, link sharing is like Porta Portal. Documents we've talked about. Conferencing, I don't think there's anything going Oh, yeah, there is. These are from last year. I left them so you could see them. This is basically a password controlled blog so that you're safe online. So here is the prompt or what the blog should be about. And here are all of the posts from my kids last year. And if you have time and you're fooling around in NiceNet, you are more than welcome to come and check this out. When you go back to the link, you get a list of all of the seminars that are still going on. And these again are from last year. I'll leave these in place until we have a chance to do some of our own. So you can kind of get a feel for all of this. When you send a personal message, there's nothing in here yet because I haven't gotten student lists, you'll get a list of everyone that's enrolled in this classroom. This will be every eighth grader that's at Spratly Gifted Center. And any parents who choose to have a, a an account of their own, Dr. Crum, Mr. Gayton, Mrs. Adams, and any other adult who chooses to be part of our literate community. Send to all. It's going to send to everyone, and I, I advise you to use that very carefully. Otherwise, it's very specific. The other thing you need to remember is that if it's an adult in, the, in our literacy community, I require that every adult uses a, a full name so you'll know exactly who your audience is when you send a message. Basically, what I would like you to do is to play with this, play with NiceNet. I want you to be able to explain what each of these sections, each of these links is for. Um, yours will look, your homepage will look different than mine because I am the class administrator. Um, take some notes on your right hand page, summarize this on your left hand page and ask questions, and I will see you in class.